Okay, so this is going to be lower extremity draping, showing you the various sheets that go on for that type of draping sequence. So remember that a lot of times on extremities we utilize a tourniquet. So we will have usually an unsterile steri drape that's placed by the circulating nurse around the tourniquet, which prevents the prep solution from getting underneath the tourniquet. And then our draping will go basically up to where the tourniquet is placed. So some surgeons may use what we call as a roller towel, which is something that we common, more commonly would utilize on an upper extremity, but we, I'm just gonna show you how we put it on a lower extremity. So it's a towel that's opened all the way, then we fold it in thirds on your back table. You're gonna roll it, and then we will unroll it around the extremity as we apply it. So you have to be very, very careful when you're putting this on because there's lots of risk of contaminating yourself. So make sure that you stay on the outside of the towel as this is ap applied. Okay. And then we come around and we're gonna secure that with a perforating towel clip. There may be other ways to fold this depending on your surgeon's preference as well. Some docs may open it kind of like the triangle towel that we apply for the lithotomy draping and then secure that. And some surgeons don't use it at all, but it's just gonna be whatever their preference is. Okay. So you may have something that's placed prior to the application of the impervious split sheet. So that's going to be the next item that we put on. So remember the impervious split sheet is going to have some designation that tells you where the tails are or where the split is. So we want to make sure that we place that so that the tails are towards the tourniquet so that the opening is this direction towards the leg. Now your unsterile person is going to give you as much space as they possibly can. You're going to open this up and hand it to the other sterile person that you're draping with. You grab the top layer, cup in the hand, extend out over the foot of the bed. You hold tension still up here. Pull the tails back, pull the paper off, always from the top down. Then we're gonna grab the top of the tail, switch hands, and then grab on the inside of the drape, making sure that we occlude off that towel and we kind of just bring down one tail and the other tail so that forms that circular type of a fenestration. All right, now, it's likely that the foot has not been included if we are doing like a knee case, such as a knee um, arthroscopy. Mm -hmm. So if I have an area that has not been prepped, I need to place what's called an impervious stockinette over the top of it. So this is what a stockinette looks like. It comes rolled in the pack. You want to want to kind of roll it back over your hand as you come to grab the foot so that your hand doesn't get contaminated by this unsterile person who's holding onto the foot and also this area that hasn't been prepped. So now you need to have a, a communication with the person that is holding the foot too so that we don't accidentally drop the patient's leg. So I have that. And then oftentimes another sterile person will hold on to that foot so that it then can be secured with a coban in order to hold that impervious stockinette in place. Okay. So you may have a surgeon that might use an ACE, but most commonly we utilize a coban to wrap this entire stockinette and secure it to the patient's leg. So we'll assume for this case that we're doing a procedure on the knee. So I want to make sure that I leave the knee exposed and then just cover the rest of that stockinette with the coat. Band. a lower extremity sheet so you can see it has a stretchy type of a circular fenestration here which is going to be different than our laparotomy sheet which just has the cutout in it okay so on this one the extremity is going to go through the sheet so we need to open it above the extremity not underneath like we did with the impervious split sheet sometimes you'll see a picture of a person and you want to make sure that the head is towards the head the foot is towards the foot or it may say longer end and you want the longer end to always be towards the foot of the bed so when you hand this to the person that you're draping with, we're gonna put our hand inside this stretchy to make sure that it stretches, okay? Because our patient's legs are probably going to be larger than that opening or that hole. And then we keep our hand in there until we get up to the impervious split sheet. And then we open it out and you're gonna open it just like a laparotomy sheet. So grab the bottom section, cuff your hand in the inside, extend out over the foot, and then grab the head, cuff your hand, and extend up to anesthesia, who is then going to attach it to the IV poles. Okay, now these sheets may or may not have armboard covers on them. It just depends on the type of sheet that's being applied. Now 
Wow, because in orthopedics, we tend to use a lot of heavy instruments that have sharp edges. A lot of times we will add an extra layer of reinforcement down here. So we'll add a three quarter sheet. So again, we just open it up, cuff our hand and extend that out over the foot of the bed. And then because we tend to move the leg throughout a range of motion during the case, on the unoperative side of the field, we will place a towel and a non-perforating towel clip and clamp the drapes to the mattress on the OR bed, which as we move that leg then, that will help to prevent the drapes from shifting from an unsterile level to a sterile level. We then wanna make sure that we elevate this until it's wrapped with an S mark and the tourniquet is inflated because this entire time that we've had the leg elevated, the blood has been draining out of that leg and that will give us a better tourniquet. So wait until it's wrapped with that blue S mark and then after they remove the S mark and the tourniquet has been placed, then we can go ahead and rest it down onto the drapes.